much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hey, it's me, Mika! And today I'm at the Kennedy Space Center in Merritt Island, Florida. Look, I'm even wearing a space suit because I'm going on a very special space mission. My plan is to experience a spacewalk, experience landing and driving on Mars, and going to Mars space. But it's all simulation style, which means I'm not really going to space, but it's sure gonna feel like it. Will you come with me? Oh, let's go. Hey. Hi. Who are you? I'm Daniel. Oh, hi Daniel, I'm Mika. Hi. <laughs> so what do you do here? I'm an educator here at Kennedy Space Center. So oh. I teach kids all about science, technology, history, a lot of really cool topics. Wow, you must know a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is this? Uh, this is actually a 3D model of the International Space Station, the ISS. ISS, okay, so that stands for International mm -hmm. Space Station. Station, you got ISS, it. cool. Oh yeah. Now, it's really, really big. It's about as big as a football field. Whoa, that is really, really big. Yeah. And what's this long part in the middle here? So the long part in the middle is called the truss segment. Oh, the truss, okay. Yeah. And what does that do? So that holds the things like the solar panels, a lot of cool instruments and experiments. The astronauts usually just live in the middle. Uh -huh. They don't usually go out there all that often. Why would they need to go out there? Well, sometimes you gotta repla uh, repair stuff or replace things. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, something we also have that's really, really cool here is a simulator that'll kind of show you how astronauts actually train to go out there. Really? Yeah. Could I try? Totally. Oh, let's do it. Whoa, Daniel, what's all this? So these are all our tools and equipment and replacement parts that we're going to use in our simulator. Wow, that's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. What's all in here? So there's tons of different things. We have different wrenches and different mm -hmm. equipment. One that's very important that you're gonna use today is this one right here. Oh, hey, it looks like the letter T. Yeah, that's actually where it gets its name. It's called the T-handle wrench. Oh, makes sense, T-handle wrench, oh, okay. Yeah. We actually have a bigger version of that. It's this one right here. Whoa, and look at this. It looks like the letter L. And that's what its name is, L-handle wrench. Oh, L-handle wrench works out. Easy to remember. Oh yeah. Oop. This way. There you go. You got it. Okay. Now we're just going to use this little one today, but okay. we have other things that we can use to replace stuff. We have something right here called a dust environment. This Ooh. one is to try to capture micrometeorites and particles in space and dust and debris. Wow. We have this little one right here. It's an electronics module. It's oh. for computers and stuff like that. Looks complicated. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm going to give you an easy one to deal with. It's called a vibration detection system. Whoa, what does that do? Careful, it's very heavy, okay? okay? So that detects if the station shakes or shimmies or anything kind of crazy like that. And that so would be very, bad? Yes, okay. it'd be very bad. Okay, so this okay. is super important. Yes. Okay. So what's gonna happen is that when I put you in the chair, okay, mm -hmm. we're gonna find that on the truss, uh -huh. and then you're gonna replace it. Wow, cool, okay, yeah. I can't wait. And I'm gonna give you this little one uh -huh. to replace it. We can test it right now so you get a little better understanding before we go. Okay, okay? let's test it out. So you're gonna grab onto that. Uh -huh. Okay. Now when you put it inside, it's kind of like a screwdriver. Okay. You put it in and push it straight down. There you go. Okay. And then you're gonna turn it halfway. Halfway, like that? Yep, there you go. Okay. Now when you do that, it's gonna come out and it's gonna fall down. Okay, So good make to sure know. not to let it fall on you, okay? okay? Then I'm gonna give you the new one. You're gonna give me the old one. Okay. Okay. And then when you put the new one in, you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna push and half turn. The other way? Yep. Ah. And then that new one will be in place and you've replaced something. Oh, awesome. Okay, well, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, buckling in. Oh, the seatbelt is very much like the one you would use on an airplane. Yeah, exactly. Okay, nice okay. and tight. Now, you're in our microgravity chair. This is what we're gonna use to kind of simulate our spacewalk. Yeah, that's right, okay. microgravity. And for a spacewalk, you use your hands, not your feet. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, I want you to have your head all the way back against like that little okay. pillow. Okay, I'm gonna rock you back. It's gonna feel like being in a dentist chair. Ooh, okay. okay. So, rocking you back. Okay. All right. Feel okay? Yeah, nice and cozy. You ready? Yeah. Okay, starting in three, two, one. Now it's really loud, Ooh, okay? Yeah, it's a little loud. Yeah. Now I'm gonna push you underneath. 
Whoa. Okay. Now you can reach your arms up. Okay. Okay. And I want you to catch the truss. There you go. So got you got it. it. Now you can try moving up and down. Okay. Just use your arms though, remember. No feet. Whoop. Yep, so you're at the bottom. Now try moving all the way up to the top. Ooh. Notice how easy it is to move? Yeah. Yeah. It's really fun. Yeah. Cool. And it feels like I'm floating. Wow. <laughs> wow. So I want you to come right here to station 108. Okay? 108. Because we got oh. a job to do, not just having fun, okay? Yeah, here it is, 108, ready for my job. Yeah. So we're going to replace this instrument right here, okay? Okay. So I'm going to give you some tools, remember? <laughs> this is awesome. I'm working on the truss like a real astronaut. <laughs> so do you see the old vibration unit in front of you? Yep. I'm going to give you the T-handle wrench. Okay. And you're going to take it out. Remember, don't let it fall on you. All right. Okay, so push yeah, up. Yeah, this needs to be replaced. Good thing I'm here. I am very good at replacing these old things. Ugh. There you go. Old one's out. Next. I'll take the old one. <laughs> Here's the new one. Okay. Okay. Whoop, turn it around. You got it. Okay, that goes there. Yep. Okay. Right there, push it in. Push Whoop. it straight up. Turn your handle wrench a little tiny bit more to the right. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. There you go. Now we're And then talking. let go. And you're all good. All right there, buddy. That one's good to go. Perfect. <laughs> I'll take the wrench back. All right. Okay. But hey, we finished our job. Awesome. Good job. I'm going to get you out of the chair, okay? Okay. So. Whoa. Stay right there. You can let go. Okay. okay. You're floating away from the station. Oh, no. Bye. <laughs> Wow, I could take a nap in this chair. Well, you you can now that you've done your job, okay? <laughs> but bringing you back down to Earth. Three, right? two, one. Welcome oh, back. That was a quick ride. Oh, yeah. Hello, Earth. Okay. And there you wow. go. Thank you so much for letting me experience that. Yeah, no problem. That was really cool. So I got to feel what it would be like to do a spacewalk. Now I want to know what it feels like to travel to Mars. To Mars? Do you have that here? We do. Really? Yeah. Oh, can we do it? Totally. Oh, let's go. Yeah. Uh, come on. So come on over this way. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Oh, yeah. Come on. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. Look over there. It says Lander Rover Simulator 1. That's so cool. Yeah. So over here, we have a really amazing simulator. Wow. Okay. Yeah. This is going to show you how you're going to fly to Mars, how you're going to land on Mars, and then how you're going to drive <laughs> on Mars. That's okay. amazing. And remember, yeah. it's a simulation, so it's not real. But it's going to make me feel like I'm really traveling to Mars. Yeah. Now, we have two different positions, OK? Because whenever we do anything with NASA, we try to have a buddy system. Always okay. have a backup. So okay. two people. Yes, two people. So we have a commander mm -hmm. who's going to fly the thing. That's uh, you. Yes, okay. okay. And then we have a pilot who's going to drive it. In this oh. case, it's a robot, so you're OK. Wow, so you yeah. fly there, land, and then you can drive? Yeah. That's so cool. Right? Do you want to go inside? Yes, I do. OK, so Hi. head on down the stairs. OK. okay. And then you're going to sit in this seat right here. Okay? Oh. There you go. Whoa. It's cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, we're going to make sure you're as safe as possible. Okay. Okay. So if you look up above, you probably notice something very similar. Oh, yeah. It looks like a seat that you would sit in on a roller coaster. Yeah, exactly. Okay. We want to make sure you're as safe as possible. Okay. That's okay. Good. So I'm going to lock you in. Okay. Okay. What I want you to do, put your arms up and you're about to go on a roller coaster. Okay. Okay. And then the restraints are going to come down. There okay. we go. Nice and secure. All good? Feel yeah. safe? Okay. Now, what's going to happen is when I close this door, we're going to start the simulator and you're going to fly and do all the cool stuff on Mars. Okay, okay. awesome. Ready? Yes, I'm so ready. Awesome. Okay. So I'm going to close the door now. All Bye. Right. See you soon. I'm going to Mars. <laughs> Whoa. It really feels like 
like I'm getting ready to go to Mars. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, here I go. Now I'm gonna get you out of there, okay? okay? So first things first, restraints. We're gonna raise those up, okay? There you go. Whoa! Good job. Okay. You can come on out this way. Be very Whoa. careful though. You can use the handrail. Yeah. That was wild! Did you see me flip upside down? <laughs> Whoa! You okay? Yeah, I'm good, I'm okay. good. <laughs> so is that what it feels like to land on Mars and then drive on Mars? A little bit, yeah, yeah. It's a good wow. simulation, right? Yeah, that was really fun. Thanks for letting me experiment oh, with no that. Oh, no problem, yeah. So for that, you got to drive to our Mars Base 1 uh -huh. in the simulation. Yep. Do you want to see our simulated Mars Base that we actually have here? Oh, yeah, that's last on my list. Awesome. All right. Want to go? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> cool, come on. Come on over this way. Whoa. <laughs> Wow. So welcome to our Mars Base One Botany Lab. Oh, thank you. I've never been in a space like this before. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah, it's very cool. Lots of plants in here. Yeah, we have tons of different varieties of plants because we want to see what types of things we could grow on Mars. Oh, why would you want to see what can grow on Mars? That's a really good question. So if we're gonna go to Mars, like we plan to do, so we can work and do scientific experiments, mm -hmm. we got to test what we could have to eat on Mars. Because we can't oh. bring all the food we're gonna take there. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Now, growing on Mars is really difficult. It's not like Earth. Oh. Yeah. Is there not dirt on Mars? Well, there's dirt on Mars, but when it comes to Mars, it doesn't have the right things that plants need to grow. Oh. So, do you happen to know what things plants need to grow? Yeah. They need light and water and dirt or soil packed with nutrients, and you need the right temperature. Yeah, so they need tons and tons of stuff, and it's all very specific yeah. to the type of plant. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to Mars, it has dirt, but there's no nutrients in it. Oh. So if I just went outside and grabbed any old dirt, it's not really gonna simulate how well it works on Mars. Oh, well what does it feel like? What's the dirt feel like on Mars? Well, I have a really good example. So this is oh. some of the stuff that we use. Oh, cool. It's a simulation of what Martian dirt or soil is like. So this isn't really from Mars? No, it's not really from Mars. Huh. Look at this. Whoa. Kind of feels like a bunch of little rocks or little pebbles. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. So it's like a lot of clay and iron. It's not good for plants, sadly. So we have to add in nutrients, plant food, so that way they can grow a lot easier. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Now, like I was saying, we've grown tons of stuff in here. Yeah, I can uh, tell. We've grown things like lettuces and even tomatoes. <gasps> I love tomatoes! Wow, can you imagine eating a tomato that grew on Mars? <laughs> it's wow. super cool, right? Yeah. Now, other things that we've grown I wanna show you are some of our peas. So come on over this way. So these are some of the peas that we've actually grown. We've tested different types of plants, but we also want to test how those plants grow in different conditions. Okay. So some of the things you mentioned before of growing include water. We have water in the trays. That helps them grow. All right. And then we have some nutrients in some of the arcelite, the dirt in there. Mm -hmm. And then we have different types of light even. Oh, different types of light. Oh, yeah, it does look different. Yes, yeah, so you can put your hand underneath. So down here we have like this weird purple magenta. Ooh, I love purple. Yeah. <laughs> it's got red and blue little lights. And then up here on top, we have oh. some white light with it. It's a little bit different. Yeah, it looks very different. Yeah. 
So we want to test how the plants grow in different light conditions. Oh, like these plants up top are growing a lot higher than these plants here on the bottom. Yes. So, hey, we know now for the peas to use more of these lights rather than these ones. Oh, just always experimenting. Yeah. And you can even see some of the ones that we've Whoa. kept growing even longer. They're super, super high because they have that nice light. See, they're growing towards the light? Yeah. Wow, they really like this light. Yeah, yeah. Wow, well, thank you so much for teaching me all about space and what it would feel like to land and drive on Mars and spacewalk and now Mars base? Yeah. <laughs> You've been awesome, thank you. Thank you. Well, have a good day. I'll you see you around. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Daniel. Let's go. Wow, we did everything on my list. What a great day. We got to experience a spacewalk, experience landing and driving on Mars, <laughs> and we got to go to Mars base. Wow, space is so amazing. Thanks for learning with me today. <laughs> well, that's the end of this mission and the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <gasps> Will you spell my name with me on Mars? <laughs> okay. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Oh, I gotta go. That's my ride. Bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Mika, Mika. So much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout, Mika. Mika.